I think the point of paperless is we're going to be going digital and going digital brings with it its own challenges. Um, largely, primarily around things like accessibility. You have the digital inclusion challenge across the UK where you have 12 million people don't have digital skills, don't have access to get online. So whilst it might be great to book doctor's appointment and repeat prescriptions and all those great things that the NHS wants to be able to achieve digitally, if people don't have digital skills, if people don't have access, that's going to be a huge issue. So that's going to be a challenge that needs to be overcome by the NHS. You know, if granny can't log on to her computer and get her e-referral, what do they do? Does there still have to be paper involved? So the digital part is a challenge, the digital inclusion is a challenge. You also have the issue around workforce where you have, you know, the amount of people that the NHS employs, a lot of those people will have challenges such as dyslexia, such as English as a second language, where when it comes to disseminating information online or, or digitally, there's additional hurdles. So how do they provide the support and the technology to help those people as they make the transition to digital? Text Help, we are an assistive technology company and we developed a suite of software to help people. So whether that is members of staff in the workplace, they can use our read and write software, which will provide literacy support whenever they're using systems, sending emails, writing reports. Also, we have software, Browse Aloud, which sits on websites. Um, so for the likes of patients accessing a hospital website, accessing a portal to input or receive information, we can offer them literacy support at the point of contact where they actually need it. And that's completely free of charge to the patient. They don't have to pay to use that assistive technology. That's provided free of charge by the NHS. So that is how we as Text Health can help the NHS take that plan forward to support the workforce first and to support the patient and to improve that patient experience and the outcomes for the patient.